Are you light or darkness? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico, the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to this Gospel for January the 30th, 2020, according to St. Mark. And Jesus was telling them, Is a lamp brought out in order to be put under a measuring bucket or under the bed? Is that not going to be placed on the lamp stamp? For there is not anything hidden except that may be revealed. Nor has it become hidden, but that they may, may be brought into the open. If anyone has ear to hear, let him hear. And he was saying to them, Consider what you hear. By what measure you measure, it will be measured to you and will be added to you. For whoever has, it will be given to him. And whoever does not have, even that which he has will be taken away from him. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. So important for us to think, to consider truly how we are. It's easy to imagine, it's easy to think that we would like to be like light, to be blessed and everything, to be enlightened and enlighten everyone. But are we truly, are you truly like that? How is your behavior? Are you patient, tolerant, loving, caring, cheerful? Or are you jealous, uh, irate, full of wrath, envious, haughty, prideful? Because you choose to be, but then you, we need to be cleansed by God. The Lord today is talking about becoming a lamp, a light that is turned on. And the image back then is like a candle. Are you going to turn on a candle, to lit up a candle, to hide it? No. You're supposed to give light to everyone. And that light is not your own light, but it's God's light that is burning on you, according to His love and your love for Him. Repeating words when you're praying 50 times for something will not change you. What will change you is humbleness and obedience to God. And again, it's important for us to keep on remembering as we are going to enter into Lent that we have to fast, that we have to pray, and that we have to do acts of love towards everyone, especially those of you, those that are not so pleasant, not so close to you. Those are the little ones, the ones that you might despise. Give them a little bit of your food, a little bit of your drink, a little bit of your prayers. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.